MP okay, folks, and his wife Linda. Out. Let's hear oh, what he has to say. A, a miserable night. I think everybody knows why we're here, so I shall make my statement uh, and leave the stage. I have, of course, been reflecting on the implications of today's results for the party uh, and for me as leader, uh, both in pure terms and contextually. Uh, and when I say contextually, what I mean is within the context of the fact that for three months uh, I have been criticising another party leader uh, for not taking responsibility uh, for actions that occurred on their watch. So it would be the height of hypocrisy uh, if I didn't take full responsibility for the results today for the Ulster Unionists. And of course, in pure terms, the buck stops here. I led into this election. Uh, I was the one who argued it should be a referendum on RHI uh, and on 10 years of the DUP and Sinn Féin leading our executive government. Uh, I am the one uh, who suggested that in a normal society, uh, people would vote uh, on performance and that the DUP and Sinn Féin did not earn uh, another mandate. Uh, and I'm the one who said this should be Northern Ireland's first post-sectarian election uh, based on the economy and education and health and housing and that I had a different vision. Uh, but the electorate disagreed. They certainly did not give me a mandate big enough for me to feel justified uh, in continuing in this position. So I shall not continue in this position. Uh, I have spoken to the party chairman uh, and informed him I will not be allowing my name to go forward uh, for this year's election uh, of party leader. He will call the party officers as a matter of urgency and they will define the way forward in selecting uh, a successor. I will stay in post uh, until that process has been completed. Uh, I want to thank the party chairman and Jim Nicholson, who is also here, uh, all our elected reps, uh, all our staff, uh, all our party members who have given me the most fantastic support uh, over the last five years. It has been an absolute honour uh, to have led the Ulster Unionist Party uh, and a challenge like no other that I've ever experienced in my life. And I will never forget it and I will be forever thankful. Uh, my only regret is that the results seem to indicate that this society is now more polarised than ever rather than more united in a shared future, uh, which was my aspiration. Uh, but we will get there. Someday Northern Ireland will vote as a normal democracy. We will vote in a post-sectarian election, uh, but it is now clear it will not happen uh, during the duration of my political life. But it will happen. Uh, my final thought, if I may, is when I was a journalist standing where you are, listening to politicians standing where I am, I used to hear them say they wanted to thank their family, and I used to think, what's that all about? It's only a job. Now I understand what it's all about, uh, and I finish by thanking my family. Thank you very much. So, Mike Nesbitt has uh, fallen on his sword. He was...